from Australia, the Las Vegas, Cameron Medhurst. So in the green and gold of Australia, Cameron Medhurst flying 10th after the original programme. He ironically came 10th at last year's World Championships. The Australian champion seven times. Landing on the triple Lutz is a little bit late getting the free leg back, just caught it on the ice on the way out. No mistakes with the triple Salco, combined with a double toe loop. triple loop, just perhaps trying a little bit too hard. Triple flip. Well, 
I suspect he won't be waltzing to any medals tonight. And at 24 years old, really reaching the peak of his career. But he had a poor landing on a triple looks, and I think that will cost him dear in these World Championships. Well, here we can see uh, one of the triple jumps. Watch, this is a triple flip. Watch his, his right foot, see it's a little bit high. It makes it very difficult actually to get a good landing. You have to push really hard if your free leg goes up that high. And uh, that can cost him if he, if he just makes a slight error with the timing going in. makes it very difficult. Good high Russian split jumps there. Back home in Sydney, he's an accountant. I wonder if now he's trying to tot up the marks in his head what the judges will give him for this free skating program. Two sets of marks, one for technical merit, the other for artistic impression. There's his coach, Belinda, saying it's good performance, not too bad. It's as good as I, I've seen him skate. I think we're throw another one in, I think that's what put me off the sack at the end. So I thought, do this, and then maybe you can sit around and do this. Skating's not a very big sport in Australia. There's not many ice rinks. And uh, really a tremendous performance from there. Uh, Do you think one of the problems is that Cameron doesn't have a lot of competition? I mean, seven times Australian yeah. champion. And the toe was pretty good. It's a very important, actually, sure, that you don't get sort of shut away in your own country and don't see what's going on out in the rest of the world. It can be very, very hard if you sort of become champion and then there's nobody nibbling at your heels to keep you sharp. But uh, Cameron's no stranger to world championships. He's been out before he goes to international events and uh, he keeps uh, well aware of what the other skaters are doing so um, that is very important <laughs> Hi mum It's over Tenth so after the original oh, program so he'll have to at least go third to stay in that uh, position but I think he'll be hoping for a little bit better My vision was skewered Really well, Gary, the Australian judge has been marking like, um, pretty low throughout this event. It'll be interesting well, to see so what, uh, what like he actually I does with Cameron Medhurst's mark. Sort of well, watch out away. for the scores of Frank Parsons. 5.3. And surprise, surprise, it's the best mark for technical merit. It range from 4.9. Like 5.3. Marking by the Australian judges has been a little up and down to say the least. Well, really, it's been low all the way through the championship until this point, hasn't it? <laughs> and the Australian judge Frank Parsons gives 5.5 to his countryman for that performance. All the marks are in the fives. Well, not a bad set of marks there for him. He couldn't really have hoped for much better than that, I don't think. And that takes him fifth 